So one of the staples of my diet and what I eat the most of during the week when I'm at work is chicken. I eat a lot of chicken throughout the week. So I kind of wanted to do a quick pre-vlog on chicken because it's an important part of my diet. And I want to talk a little bit how I cook my chicken in order to, to get the most efficient results, okay? So when I'm cooking chicken, I learn a couple of points. So the first one is I now dice my chicken. So when I get chicken breast, I get the packet of about four chicken breasts and I'll cut it up into small cubes and then I'll pan fry it. So one of the benefits of cutting it into small pieces is that you're going to, it's going to cook through quicker, okay? If you have a massive uh, slab of chicken and you put it in the pan, then it's more, it's gonna take longer to cook, okay? It's gonna take longer to cook all the way through. So that's the first point I learned when cooking chicken is it's best to cut it in smaller pieces. And I use a pair of scissors, okay? I find it a lot easier. And so that's my first point. My second point is, is the intensity of the heat. Now, I used to cook my chicken on a relatively high heat in order for it to cook faster, but the only downside of this is that it's going to go quite hard quite quickly, or it's gonna burn quite quickly. And you have to be careful if you're gonna put it on a high heat is that it can look very dumb on the outside, but it can still be pink on the inside if cooked very quickly, okay? So I've learned that it's actually, in terms of texture, it tastes nicer if I cook it on a lower heat. It might taste, it might take a little longer, but the, the results will be worth it, okay? So I'll put it on a uh, much lower to medium heat, and I'll just let it sizzle for 20 to 25 minutes, probably five to 10 minutes longer than I would take to cook it on a higher heat, all right? And thirdly, I, t I cook my chicken in higher batches, in big batches, okay? So if I was to uh, prepare several chicken breasts, say three chicken breasts in one pan, then I'm going to have quite a lot of chicken for the next couple of days or so. This saves me from having to constantly cook chicken when I come home from work or uh, in the morning or whatever. So it's always best to cook in, in batches. I've talked about cooking in batches in a previous vlog, but you're gonna have more meals out of it and you save time throughout the week. So what is going on Evil Shred Peeps? This is Nick and I want to talk to you today about home workouts, okay? So I've had periods in the past when I'm working, I'm very busy, where I can't go to the gym for whatever reason. I don't get time in the morning, or I don't get time in the evening. It just happens sometimes we get up too late or we just simply we start earlier and we don't have time to go, okay? So how do we combat this? There is a way we can do this and that is with a pull-up bar, okay? So I've showed you the pull-up bar in previous vlogs. I've done a lot of pull-ups on this for previous vlogs, but this provides a great workout. Um, I got it for about a tenner on Amazon, or 15, I can't remember. But it's very cheap and you get a lot out of it, so it's definitely worth the money, okay? So what can you do with a pull-up bar? Obviously, you can do your standard pull-ups, um, but you can also alter, you can also alter your grip width as well. You can do neutral grip pull-ups and you can also do supinated pull-ups as well. So it provides a variety of different uh, types of pull-ups. So you're targeting slightly different muscles in your back and in your biceps, okay? Secondly, it's a great push-up bar as well. So with your standard push-up, you will go down to the ground and push back up. But the problem with this is that you're not stretching the chest as much as you could do in order for muscle hypertrophy to be optimum, okay? Optimal. So what do I mean by this? So when we're performing a range of motion for any exercise, we go through a process of stretching and contracting the muscle, okay? So stretching and contracting the muscle breaks down the muscle fibers um, and that allows for maximum muscle growth. But some exercises such as the push-up does have a limited range of motion because when we go into the push-up, the floor gets in the way when we want to go all the way down, okay? 
So this pull-up bar is pretty good for this because I'm able to go all the way to, all the way down and through my hands and I will get that stretch on my chest, okay? And then when I go back up, obviously I'm getting the contraction. I find that I feel it more in my chest when, or more activation in the pectoralis muscle when I'm doing a push-up on my pull-up bar than if I was doing it on the floor, okay? So there's a lot of benefits to having this pull-up bar. You can always do, do a mini workout and you will get your, uh, your, the full benefits of a workout in, in, your, in your own home, okay? That same bird has been making that noise for the last 24 to 48 hours. A couple of things real quick that's happened in the last few weeks of my fitness routine. So I've found that despite my progress in in going to the gym and my and my attempts at a pro progressive overload, I find that I'm not able to reach the same or reach higher weights as the weeks go by. In fact, I seem to be going in the opposite direction. And I can't figure out what this is, whether it is to do with my nutrition, whether it's to do with how, I timing my, how I'm timing my workouts. Like, I can't figure out what it is, but yeah, I, I seem to be getting weaker every week as opposed to stronger because I can't lift as heavy a weight as I could the week before. And this is kind of problematic based on what my goals are, which is to do the opposite of that. So... I wish I could figure out what that is, but I guess in the meantime, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and fig and I'll try and figure it out, I guess. So that's about it for this vlog. I hope you learned a thing or two from it, and I'll catch you guys in my finale episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.